In this video, I'm going to be explaining why Dollar is ultimately the best defense in Madden and has been for a really long time. I put out a post the other day that pretty much recapped over the last 10, 11 years that the MCS has been around. Pretty much every competitor has been in Dollar for the overwhelming majority of that time frame, right? Seven out of 10 years, Dollar was the meta. Six out of 10 years, right? The majority of the time, this defense is the defense that people are going to end up in. I say it like this, all roads lead to dollar. And the reason that I say that and is because I want to unpack why this defense is as good as it is and has been as good as it is for as long as it has been. The first thing, the first reason, is that it's a symmetrical formation. This is so important. And I just, I'm going to have the meta way of running dollar and we're just going to be walking through some principles as to why this is super effective if you guys want to get my ebook on this it's in our school community link uh, is in the description auto flip off auto alignment on base option defense on conservative and then you can really do whatever you want with your with your zone drops i don't i don't necessarily care about that really the reason this is so good is because i can come out and double safety go and i can get into all of my plays that I want to be able to run. And as you look at this plays, I just want to kind of quickly cover that Dollar has the most amount of options for coverage and pressure in this game. Meaning, if you just look at these plays, these blitzes, there's four completely different styles of blitzing within one formation. Most formations have one, maybe two styles of blitzing, whereas Dollar, you have the slot corner, DB fire, where we're going to try to kind of get more of like a slot corner pressure. You have the cover six Willie, where we're going to try to get a little bit more crossfire style pressure. You have the edge blitz three, where we're going to try to get a little bit more of like a, like a swap exchange, almost loop style pressure. You have the new style of blitzing that was really made popular last year where we're just going to try to get this kind of glitchy uh, A-gap pressure. So the bottom line here is we have four, one, two, three, four, five. With this alignment right here, any of these guys can, come, can, can pressure, right? Uh, any of these guys can, can pressure the quarterback. The other reason why this is good is because the double safety walk down puts the safeties in the box, which for the this has been a principle of Madden for so long. If you remember back to Madden 17, one of the things that was actually when Mills was probably the best defensive player in the world, he would walk his safeties into the box every single play. This has been a thing in Madden for a really long time. The reason you bring the safeties in the box is because it takes away the snap throw seam streaks. That has been true. It was true um, of Madden 23 when Dez really kind of showed the power, probably the best dollar has ever been, Madden 23. And then in last year's game, this is something also that's kind of just a sidebar. It's interesting to me that the way metas form, because this style of, of defense was really good last year. Des was running this last year, right? He made it popular last year. Um, I'm sure somebody else was running it too. The bottom line, you know, people are ultimately going to run what is good because they're trying to win the game, right? But another thing that I wanted to talk about is why base align defenses are superior normally in Madden with a couple of exceptions. And the only exceptions that I can think of is when it's a man-to-man -man meta. If you think back to Madden 21, really the best defense in Madden 21 was probably the 3-3-5 wide, now known as the 3-3 Cub. Because of its alignment, 2-4 double mug was really good that in that year that year's game as well because it was more of a man-to-man -man meta, right? In Madden 23, it kind of started as a man meta, but it ultimately evolved into a zone meta. And as you kind of look back over, again, if we're just looking back at, at history, most years zone is going to be meta because zone blitzing is going to be meta because it's the you can play the most amount of chess with zone coverage. You, adjusting out of zone is much, much easier and much, much more effective typically than adjusting out of man coverage. One of the easiest explanations for this 
is this audible right here. When they audible to trips, this to me is so important. And I think why this is such a, a key to defense, having a symmetrical formation. Notice that nobody on my defense is going to move. Nobody's going to move. And most importantly, nobody has to move. Nobody has to move because of the alignment of the formation is such that it allows me to be in a good defense against trips, a good defense against bunch. I can quickly tweak the coverage, and it's basically the same defense, right? This, to me, is so important, and it's one of the more slipped-on things. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but I think this is one of the most important principles about defense being able to handle the audible around meta. Because if you come out and mid blitz these days, let me just show this, because I do have it here. The best way to run mid blitz, in my opinion, and to run almost any nickel based defense with is auto flip on. And so what does that do? Well, it puts our slot corner in this, this man to man coverage, right? Okay. While that's good, now watch what. Ha so let's say that I am going to go, okay, well, I'm going to make some adjustments and try to get them off balance. So I'm going to put them in zones. Well, then this is why audible around is so good. They audible to trips. And now look at my defense. It's completely jacked up. We're misaligned over here. We only have a t with basically playing two on two over here now. And now we got to do all these adjustments real quick. And then they snap the ball and we're on a bad, we're, on, we're in a bad defense, right? That is one of the most important principles for why dollar is as good as it is. Because the way dollar works is it's a symmetrical formation that is always going to be in a favorable alignment against any formation in the game. You have the too high safety shell, which traditionally has been the best way to play because it gives you the most amount of coverage options. I can run, I can run a, I call it a full coverage tree. I can run cover two, I can run cover three, I can run cover four, I can run cross man defenses, all of this stuff. All the while, and this is ultimately the most, I think, important for our purposes in this video, I send this blitz, okay? This is a really good blitz, right? We know it. Okay, so now they have to they have to block this blitz. The best way to block this blitz is to use half slide. Use half slide and double team. So they do that, right? They half slide and they double team. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this look exactly like the exactly like what I just ran. But now we're just going to mix in DB fire and they can't block it. They actually did block it there, but they normally can't. Why can't they normally block that? Well, because the pass protection that they did to stop the one blitz doesn't stop the other blitz. This is so important because this is how Dollar is always going to be one of the best defenses in the game because you, can, you have different ways to blitz from the same look. To me, that is so important. Another real simple kind of thing we could do, let's say they're doing a lot of half sliding, they're doing a lot of double team, Okay, well, let's just mix in this edge blitz three. Let's just see what happens here. I don't know. If the, I don't even know if it's going to work. Let's just mix that edge blitz three in, right? Um, the free safety zone blitz isn't coming in. Okay, let's just mix in this cover six willy, right? Another variation, another different style of blitzing. That is why <laughs> I think you consistently see dollar as one of the best defenses in the game. It's not just because the coverage is really good. It's because it's the coverage combined with the different styles of blitzing combined with the alignment, combined with the fact that you can typically find a gap shoot out a dollar for almost every run in the game. Those are the reasons. So wanted to kind of just make more of a conceptual video. And then obviously this year, one other thing I want to say about dollar it's set up really well for switch sticking, which is the best way to play defense in the game, right? Because of why is it set up good for switch sticking? Because it's base aligned. It's symmetrical. I go right one click. I go left one click. I go up one. Like it's not complicated to, to switch stick out of this defense. This is what, this is why all roads lead to dollar because I can switch stick here and then I can switch back here. It's just the best defense in the game at the end of the day. And I think people would do well to stop complaining about the fact that this defense is so good and start understanding 
why this defense is so good. If you want to learn how I run this defense, make sure you join our school community. It's completely updated in there, and I'm always kind of improving upon the defense because I think this is truly the best defense in the game. If you want to sign up for our school community, the link is in the description below.